Denmark's Queen Margrethe II stripped the royal titles from her youngest son's children. The grandchildren of Denmark's monarch will no longer be called the princess or princes. Denmark's Queen Margrethe II has stripped the royal titles from her youngest son's children in September of 2022. This decision of the Queen creates complexities in the relationship between her two sons, the Crown Prince Frederic and the Prince Joachim. Welcome to a new video of Best Royal Affairs. Subscribe to the channel with all notifications on for more content about the royal families of the world. The declaration of the Queen to strip off the royal titles only from the children of her youngest son is undoubtedly a mystery. It seems like the youngest son has caused many troubles to the Highness in childhood. Why would the Denmark Queen do this? To know more, watch until the end. Queen Margrethe II is Europe's longest serving head of the state currently. She has ruled Denmark for the past 50 years. Frederick IX of Denmark and Ingrid of Sweden are her parents. Being the eldest child, she became the heir in 1953 when the constitution allowed women to inherit the power. A day after her father, King Frederick IX, passed away, Margrethe was crowned queen on January 15, 1972. Are you curious to know about the Danish royal family? Well, here we go. Queen Margrethe married Prince Henrik of Denmark and they had two sons, Crown Prince Frederick and Prince Joachim. The Crown Prince and his wife, Crown Princess Mary, have four children, Prince Christian, Princess Isabella, Prince Vincent and Prince Josephine. The younger son, Prince Joachim and his wife, Prince Mary, also have four children, Prince Nikolai, Prince Felix, Prince Henrik and Princess Athena. Princess Marie is the prince's second wife. The first was Alexandra, Countess of Frederiksborg. This family also includes the Queen's two sisters. The Danish royal family, with around 82% of approval rates, is indeed the favourite of Denmark. But now the royal family has also become the favourite of international media. With Queen Margrethe II's decision to remove the royal titles from her four grandchildren, the Danish royal family came into the limelight of the world media. On September 28th of 2022, the Palace of Denmark released a statement that January 2023, the four children of Prince Joachim would not carry on their royal titles of Prince and Princess. Instead, they will be addressed as Count or Countess of Montpazard, the birth title of the Queen's late husband, Prince Henrik, who was a French descendant. There is nothing much to be surprised about the Royal Queen's decision because many other European royal families have already set this trend, but what shocks us is that the Crown Prince Frederick's children have retained their royal titles, whereas Prince Joachim's children have given up their titles. The new decision of the Queen was declared through the Royal website and the Queen justified her decision by saying that she wants her grandchildren to shape their lives without any royal affiliations. The Danish Queen Margrethe II also declared that she believed the action was necessary to future-proof the monarchy. There has reportedly been discussion between Joachim and Margrethe in an effort for both of them to negotiate the hard choice calmly, according to the Danish magazine BT. Margrethe has subsequently expressed regret for upsetting her own family. Still, she is adamant about denying her grandkids royal titles and is not ready for change her statements. Do you think the Queen has made a fair decision? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. The Prince, his wife Marie, and Prince Nikolai, one of Joachim's children from his first marriage, have all expressed strong emotions in response to the Queen's decision. Prince Joachim, who lives and works in Paris, told the Extra Blade newspaper that all are very sad hours after the palace had made the announcement. He added that the children find themselves in a situation that they do not understand. His first wife, Alexandra, the mother of Nikolai and Felix, commented that they were in shock and also confused and saddened. Quote, the children feel ostracized. They cannot understand why their identity is being taken away from them, end quote. So now you would be thinking that both sons of the queen will have some conflicts in their relationship one way or another, but the brothers have already found themselves on opposite sides of a royal split and this isn't their first. Joachim and Frederick's relationship was difficult for a long time before the well-known conflict because Britain's Prince William and Prince Harry. Tensions peaked in 2019 when the younger brother moved abroad. 
The conflict between the princes is also have said to have involved the princesses Mary and Marie, who were at odds over their husbands' royal futures. Are they princes of Denmark in a cold war? Joachim, 53, and Frederick, 54, have been long-term rivals, but the oldest brother will always hold the throne as king, despite their competitive nature. According to a 2020 story in the New Idea magazine, Joachim reportedly felt jealousy over his brother's future position since he was annoyed by Frederick's lazy attitude towards his responsibilities. Future ruler Frederick was allegedly favoured whilst being prepared and primed for his leadership, causing a gap between the two brothers. Even as adults, there seemed to have been conflict between them, and when Joachim and his family left the country, it seemed to be the final straw in their relationship. While Frederick is the next king in line, Prince Joachim has been servicing as the Danish embassy's defence officer in charge in Paris since September 2020. According to reports, the brother reconciled in the years after Joachim went away and occasionally got back together. Months later, in October of 2019, Joachim, Frederick, and their spouses hugged one another. The future King Frederick expressed his delight at seeing his only sibling to the local press. However, three years later, in the present, tensions seem to be rising once more. Joachim revealed that his connection with his brother is difficult in light of the Queen Marguerite's decision. The Crown Princess Mary made a public statement supporting her mother-in-law's decision by stating that changes could be challenging and hurtful, but that does not mean the Queen's move is wrong. This has definitely made Joachim and his wife Marie unhappy. And one more thing to be noted is that the Crown Prince Frederic has not appeared publicly to respond to the situation. His absence may be due to Joachim's not-so-good relationship with his brother and sister-in-law. From all these mannerisms of both brothers and their partners, it's clear that there is an intense conflict for power and royal rights between the royal couples. In this issue, whilst the crown prince remained silent, his wife showed up publicly, marking her strong words against Joachim's family. Does this indicate something spooky? Is the crown prince or the crown princess who is really more into the power and positions? Does Princess Mary have anything to do with the queen's sudden mysterious decision? Well, there are some incidents that spread light on these doubts. Let's see. As per some reports, there is a severe battle behind the walls of the Danish monarchy, and the entire royal family is in a crisis. According to Joachim's wife, the chances are high that Crown Princess Mary will succeed Queen Margit as monarch when she renounces. Also, soon after Joachim and his family moved to Paris, the Queen gave part of her authority to Princess Mary. The monarch made a historic choice when she named her daughter-in-law regent, allowing the Tasmanian-born royal to represent her at formal ceremonies when she could not do so. It seems like now Queen Marguerite II has focused on the direct line of succession, which is why she moved to strip off Joachim's children's royal titles and retain Frederic's royal titles. Joachim's family is certainly in a great mess. The Queen has declared this decision officially, and it's shocking to know that neither the Queen nor the Crown Prince and Princess talked with the youngest son's family before making such a move. Is that not disrespectful? Though the Queen has justified the decision and made an apology, things don't seem to fall in the right place. The Queen could have either talked and informed Joachim's family about such a big decision, or she could have made a rule for the next generation so that current title holders wouldn't be hurt. However, with such a decision, the relationship between the two sons of the Queen have only gotten worse. So what do you guys think about the Danish royal family? Do you think the Queen is biased, or is it some other wrong influence on the Queen? Fill in the comment section with your views, and for more royal content on the royal families, watch more videos on our channel. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we will see you in the next one.